Hey, what's going on, Divine Feminines? Okay. Sorry, y'all. That was my pen dropping. But however, what's up? It's reading this for you guys tonight or this morning. It's about 2 a.m. here in Baltimore. I have my windows open, so you may hear the sounds of the wind and the rain. Let's see what's up. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ooh. Don't forget, you guys, every twin is on a different stage of their journey. Take what you need, leave what you do not need, and use the spirit of discernment, okay? So, the goddess of compassion comes out. It says, I recognize suffering in order to release it. Curiosity breeds compassion, okay? So, I feel like she came out before, a while ago, 104. Thank you. I love when the book just kind of like flips right there. Um, so it says Quan Yin represents the presence that listens deeply to our prayers spoken from the heart okay so Quan Yin is about the deep medicine that comes simply from being willing to bear witness to someone else's pain to really listen we have to move from the ego to the soul so that the story we are listening to doesn't become us doesn't become about us it doesn't trigger us because this is um this also applies to the moments when we are listening to the story we tell ourselves about who we are we are often far harsher and less forgiving to ourselves than we would ever be to someone else Kuan Yin suggests that we listen simply with curiosity curiosity allows us to detach from needing to take the suffering of someone we love personally curiosity is a door that leads to compassion it frees us from feeling as though we have to react to what we hear or defend and explain our part in their suffering. We can just perceive the pain that they are in or we can finally hear our own cries of despair and not seek to judge or justify them. We can just be present to what needs to be heard. Kuan Yin is the powerful energy of giving witness to our own or to someone else's suffering. Often just the calm, abiding presence of compassion is all that is needed to transform that suffering into clear light okay so it's asking you to meditate on this what pain or suffering can you listen to now with curiosity okay so because curiosity is going to breed compassion so let's see <clears throat> I want to keep the book open but ain't nothing holding it down i'll just go back to it oh my laptop will do it okay so let's pull a card clarify this both is on clarity sky of clarity and the crystal of clarity okay so both of them are basically saying um allow your inner compass is how i'm hearing it to illuminate your path with openness and insight so right now mm, be ready because you're getting ready to get a newfound understanding of something okay so embrace the openness um and the insight that's going to come You're getting ready to get a newfound understanding of something so let's see what is my divine feminine getting ready to get a newfound understanding of And all I keep hearing is clarity. 
you're going to get a newfound understanding. You're going to get clarity on someone else's suffering. Yep. So focus only on clarity in discerning. Judgment is in the reverse next to the Seven of Cups in the upright position. So what it's sounding like here is that um, somebody has to make some type of decision here. And they may have not been making the best choices, right? Because of self-doubt, um, lack of awareness, or something like that. They're going to be reaching out to you. Whatever it is that they're anxious over, whatever they're worrying about, this person is going to be reaching out to you. So, you're being told to have compassion in this situation. To embrace, embrace openness because now you're going to begin to understand whatever this is. You're going to be able to see behind the veil. What was misinterpreted? Eight of Cups in the reverse. Clarify that. Commitment. It's some form of promise or something that's going to be fulfilled in some form. Because you're committing to your journey. Tell me about this commitment. Woo. You have a spiritual link or something here with someone going forward. Manifesting the new. So you're going to get an understanding of what, what's happening in a particular situation about how this person may have been suffering, whoever you're connected to. Oh, shit, Divine Masculine. <laughs> you guys are going to be moving forward. You're manifesting something new. So really embrace the change and really envision your desires, right? And allow the universe to literally align you with your intentions because if you continue to dwell on the past of what happened, it's going to stop you from creating a brighter future. And when it comes to commitment, whatever is happening here, whew, you planted a seed with this person, with your divine masculine. And it's sprouting. Even, even if you don't recognize it, right? Because whatever you do for you in turn happens in divine masculine's life. So as you're elevating it and growing, they are also doing the same thing. They can't help it, right? Because they are you. Tell me about the commitment card. Embrace the honesty. Because that's they're coming, they're coming with the honesty. They this divine masculine has been very feeling very um restricted or um restricted. Bound by whatever they were suffering from when it comes to commitment. Because it sounds definitely like some type of commitment issues going on here. Tell me about the commitment card. Yeah. <clears throat> Something just trying to stop me from talking, y'all. Y'all seen that? <coughs> it was a lot of confusion. I'm going to keep going. Not going forward. I'm going to keep going. And so you're being asked in their suffering. Don't take it on. Don't take it on at all. And they want you to recognize divine masculine suffering in order to release it. Listen, you know, because the curiosity will breed the compassion. That's what's going to help you to um, find that compassion in this situation. The answers unfold. Your masculine could even be choked up. Like not able to verbalize some of this stuff because it seems like it's a lot. So stay tuned for part two. We're going to keep going.